Most days in the shop, we're taking Jeeps and we're lifting them up. Today, this one's going low. Today in the shop, we've got a new JL Sahara. And for whatever the reason, the customer wants us to be able to lower the vehicle about two inches. From what he's told us, he has trouble getting in and out of it the way it is. And so he wanted a good solution to make the vehicle not only handle better on the street, but be able to something that he can get into and out of easier. So we were looking around online and found that Skyjacker makes their low jacker kit. And it's a very simple kit. It replaces all four coil springs that are lower. They're two to two and a half inches lower than the factory springs. So what we're gonna do, and you can see we've already got them. We've got the factory springs all pulled out. To do that, we've disconnected the front sway bar and removed the front shocks. And that allows the front axle and rear axle to hang freely. The next thing we're gonna do is install the new coil springs and that is gonna lower the ride height. A couple things that we're gonna do after we install the new springs. One is gonna be to check alignment. During the alignment check, we're gonna make sure that caster is still where it needs to be, and we're gonna make sure the steering wheel is centered. We're gonna also make sure that we take and aim these headlights. We've got an awesome headlight aimer, so we're gonna make sure that that is exactly where it needs to be. And uh, we're gonna make sure, of course, I don't know if I said it when we're doing the alignment, we're gonna make sure that the steering wheel is centered as well. So there's a lot gonna be happening. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward kit, but a, a day in the life of what we do here at the shop. Excited to see what this thing looks like. All done. We've got the Jeep all done. The lowering kit is installed and it's back on the ground. One thing that I didn't realize when we were talking about it earlier is that this kit does include the Skyjacker Black Max shocks with it. Obviously they are a shorter shock than what comes factory, so you don't run out of travel. Um, but there it is in all its glory and it looks pretty good. It's got the factory size tire on it and it should be a lot easier to get in and out of the vehicle. So the alignment's done, headlights aimed, and it's looking pretty good. Coincidentally, we also had another JL here at the shop at the same time, this one right here. So I wanted to park them next to each other and compare what a two inch lowered Jeep Sahara looks like with a two inch lifted Rubicon. Both Jeeps uh, are modified like two inches lower, two inches higher. They both have the stock size tire that came on them when they were originally factory designed. So the Rubicon, the 285, 7017. This came with the factory 275, I believe it is. 255, 70, 18. So there it is, uh, two Jeeps, one lifted, one lowered. They're looking pretty cool. Both have their different unique uses and applications. So uh, owning a Jeep, is something fun and something we want everybody to have because at some point in your life, you've always either wanted a Jeep and never had one or had one and regretted selling it. So thank you for watching this video. Hope this was a little bit enlightening. Uh, if it's difficult for you to get into a lifted Jeep, consider lowering one and uh, you can still enjoy that open top freedom that everybody loves in a Jeep. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, think about visiting our website because there are a, a ton of cool projects there where you can get some inspiration for a project of your very own. Thanks for watching. See ya.